Uh, okay. Why? Why are you back, Shadow? Why are you still talking about your Pokemon in Shadow? Why are you still talking about Shadow, po Shadow Pokemon? We beat you last time, Greville. He's like, uh, I'm sorry. I, I did not take my medication last time. Uh, I've gotta, I'm gotta. I'm more evil this time than last time. But this is Greevil once again. He's back and ready to fight. And except this time, he doesn't have Shadow Pokemon. I'm trying to see what Greevil has, but <laughs> Bulbapedia is being slow. Um, so enjoy this for a second. Um, Greevil, there we go. Um, Greevil, he will start out with, um, Swellow, level 50, has Facade, Stewing, Aerial X, and Sky Attack, Ability Guts. And let me see, who else did he start out with? Magnetric, oh, Magnetric started that. Wow! A Magnetric, Thunderbolt Crunch, and Iron Tail, has the ability of Lightning Rod. I'm trying to see, now he has out Starmie. Starmie has Waterfall, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and Psychic. Ability is Natural Cure. And Swallow's down. Wow, we are take we've already taken on two of his Pokemon already, guys. That's a pretty impressive feat by my standards. But yeah, this is pretty much the last bonus episode I'm gonna show off. So yeah, um, his Gramble. Gramble is a level 50. Has double edge earthquake and shadow ball. His ability to intimidate. Prince intimidate will lower your opponent's uh, strength or attack. So yeah, it's not. This fight is pretty easily easy until he gets one Pokemon out, and then that Pokemon's a troll. See, there, there's just third Pokemon already. Like, we've already took out most of his team. He'll come, here comes Altaria. Altaria, level 50, has Dragon Breath, Aerial Ace, Earthquake, and Safeguard. Ability's Natural Cure. So yeah, you want to watch out for that. Um, Altaria can be quite dangerous, but his toughest Pokemon's his last one he's going to throw out on us. Um, Granville's actually, I don't know why, I have a soft spot for Granville. Granville and Snubble. I don't know why, I just have a, a soft spot for him. But yeah, it's pretty much the exact same fight as last time. Well, not really. It's pretty much with a different Pokemon. I figured, hey, it's different. I'll show it off to be the finale. So yeah, we're gonna do this, and then XD is done, like for good. Like it's it's gonna be stay. It's gonna be gone. Not gone, but it's gonna unless we do decide unless somebody wants to do like a battle or something with me, which I don't see happening. Um, this is gonna be the end of Pokemon XD. So yeah, I guess. I mean, I kind of need, like, my final thoughts in the uh, finale, but I didn't get, like, all the way clear, and I've been thinking about it more and more today, how I want it to be. Because I recorded the last half of the finale today, at the first bonus episode, and this is the second bonus episode, and then I'm done. Um, so technically, I've had to see Grievel, like, twice. Oh, before I do that, here comes Aerodactyl, easily the hardest part of this fight. Aerodactyl, level 50, has Ancient Power, Earthquake, Double Agent, Aerial Ace, has a Rockhead for the ability. Aerodactyl's pretty tough, um, but, um... And see, here, he killed Shadow Lugia, so you know that Pokemon hits pretty hard. But, um, Pokemon XD, as I said in the finale, um, it's a good game. It's nothing, it's not the best game out there. I honestly, I give a lot of things in this LP where it sounds like I hate XD. I don't hate XD. I think XD, it has a lot of problems, and I'm sorry, but some of them I just can't get over, because, like, the bo the battles are boring to watch. The battle animations take forever to get over with, especially when you have double battles. That makes it, like, worse. And, and Coliseum had this thing, too. Coliseum had more clunky gameplay, and XD does fix this. But the problem is, XD, it's areas. They're boring. Coliseum had interesting areas to go through. Like, you'd had, like, the, um... The, uh, the, the underground place, I can't think of what the name is, I, that was really interesting, it's like a little underground city, it's populated, and it, it had a lot of cool characters in Coliseum, it had a much better tone, it was a little darker, not too dark, but it was dark, XD pretty much cuts that completely out, and it makes it more lighthearted. it feels more like cartoony, and I know this sound comes off, I'm kind of sound weird because this is a, uh, series we have animals fight each other because they pretty are superheroes kind of like that this isn't the wonderful wonderful 101 but i know but uh it's still like that was the thing that people liked about coliseum was its tone and yet xd they get rid of that and plus in general this is for xd and call and coliseum i honestly just hate the shadow pokemon i never you just don't care. Like, half of them suck to begin with, so you don't ever want to use them to purify them. And what do you get when you purify the sh Shadow Pokemon? You get a chance to purify Shadow Lugia. That's it. You get regular Lugia, and yeah, you can trade it, but... Honestly, like, dude, by then, most of the Pokemon you don't really want, because honestly, are you really going to use Lediba? Like, for real. 
And even then, if you think about, like, I mean, mind you, some people didn't have the chance to get these, but if you can get those special events from the game, then you really didn't need Lugia. So technically, it was pointless. I mean, mind you, if you couldn't get it, yeah, this is pretty much the way you could get it, but still, it was just weird. Like, XD, it's not bad. It's real. Ah, oh, I can scratch my ear. <laughs> it's not a bad game, honestly. I. It's just something that, honestly, for people who are watching that are Let's Players, if you're going to do this game post-com, I, I cannot recommend it, honestly. If you want, like, if you see something in this game, though, and you want to try it out, then give it a shot, honestly. And that's up to you. It's just my opinion. I honestly, if I had to give the game a rating, it'd probably be a 7, like, straight 7. It has a lot of problems with it. I just don't, I can't get over, and it just bothers me. This, as I said earlier, the story bothers me a lot. I just, the sto I don't know, I can't get into the story. It bores me at a lot of points. Because it just, nothing makes sense. If you think about it, because, like, why Greville? Why is he doing this? Like, how did he get Cypher back? If they kind of would explain that, I mean, I, mean, I know this is Pokemon. But if they would explain something like that, I could have cared a little more. Like, half these characters, I don't give a crap about. The only ones I really like are Mirror B and Elds. And you know when you only get two characters right in your game, that's a pretty bad thing. It's just... I don't know. G honestly, I'd recommend giving Coliseum a chance before I'd play XD. And if you don't like Coliseum, then I would not recommend getting XD. I, uh, Coliseum, to me, is the better game. And I would say... That XD is underrated. It, it really is. Because honestly, when you hear about people talking about Pokemon games, do you ever really hear them say, talking about like Pokemon XD? No, you really don't. You usually hear them talk about like um, the Gen 2 games or like Gen 5 or Gen 1 technically. And it's underrated. It's a decent game. It's just something that I cannot recommend to everyone. It's a thing where. <sighs> I'm trying to think of how I put this, but. It's like, like, I'm trying to think of a game that most people wouldn't know so I can use it for this. It's kind of like Earthbound with me. Earthbound is a game that I try, okay, no, I mean, Earthbound, there are people out there who do not like Earthbound, and, okay, well, okay, I got, I got to put this now. Earthbound is a game that not everyone can like, but there's people who really do enjoy it. XD is pretty much, it's kind of like Earthbound. Now, I think the Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness fans are better than Earthbound fans. Not getting started. There are some pretty cool Earthbound fans, but a lot of them do get really mad for no reason. But, <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to get so many Earthbound people on here now. But, it's just, uh, like, I can, I'd really play this game over Earthbound. I'm just saying this here, I cannot get into Earthbound. I've tried, but it's like that. It's one of those things that try out maybe sometime in the future, but... Don't put it, like, on the first thing you want to play list. I'm, I did XD because it was a game that I've seen that doesn't get a lot of attention. And so I did it. And we beat Greeble for the final time. Yay. That was the final battle of the Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness Let's Play. So we're done in terms of gameplay. Whatever, though. Old man, you need to really take your medicine. It's not good for you. I'm sorry, I'm back. Uh, I forgot I forgot my jacket. I'm sorry. You know, I was a little drunk last night, and I gotta come back and get it. I also forgot my blue eyes white dragon. It's a blue eyes white dragon jacket. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably just skipping this dialogue. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I just got an LG like, no, man. Like, dark, like, red eyes white dragon. Every, all day, every day, man. You, you gotta love that crap. But, yeah. Father, please. No! I don't do this. Uh, whatever. I just want ice cream. Whatever, though. But, um, because we're almost over, I'm going ahead and going, going to announce my next Pokemon. Let You know what? I'll let the end of this announce my next Pokemon Let's Play. So, I'm just saying it here. It's going to be a remake. See you guys next time on the first episode of Super Mario 64. Later, guys.
くず星きらめく夢の星さ I wanna be 行こうぜ行こうぜ「あの日から」